Hello there, and uh, welcome to Andre's YouTube vlog for uh, March 30th. This is actually my final YouTube vlog for this March, 2012. Well, this is my Olympus E500 um, digital camera. I uh, don't know if you can um, see that. And uh, actually, <coughs> the um, 14 to 45 millimeter zoom lens, which you see here, had to go back to the shop a little recently. I think I discussed it in my recent vlog. Well, in about a week, I am going to be attending a family wedding where I'm going to be the photographer, out of respect for the two people getting married. I won't mention names or places, of course. I'm not a ghoul, you know. YouTube is full of people like that who just love to be voyeurs and <coughs> give away way too much information than needs to be given out. Anyway... What I wanted to talk a little bit about today on this vlog was something, I don't know if it actually exists or if it's a made-up word I have, but what I wanted to talk to you a little bit about today is photophobia. Now, I don't know how many of you out there, even a person with a little tiny camera, nothing like that, have actually just gone out and um, gone to a party or a family event and started taking pictures and have people say one of several things. Number one, if you take a picture of me, I hope your camera doesn't break. Number two, I have to go to the bathroom, I don't look my best. Or three, they'll start crossing their eyes, making little hand puppets or whatever, or mugging. Um, <clears throat> over the years, these are a few of the signs of photophobia. People who see a camera and instantly become afraid. Now, I have all kinds of phobias of my own. I think a lot of us do. Um, some of mine are actually clinical, but um, that's another story. Um, in terms of photophobia, I've been racking my brain on the possible cause of it. And why, I'll tell you, photophobia is one of the main reasons why I'm so excited to be photographing this wedding in the first place. Usually people see my camera as an item of horror or that... It's a really <coughs> disgusting, terrible thing. Or, you know, it's going to hurt them. And therefore, I've been speculating on some of the reasons why. Um, I have one reason right away. You know, you can't go on the internet or read a newspaper or anything without hearing about, oh, this celebrity was um, photographed doing something that was inappropriate. Or the paparazzi did this, or the paparazzi did that, or... Princess Diana died, or whatever it was. There's always something. Now, um, I think people see a camera, especially a professional-looking camera, and think paparazzi, media, they're out to get us. You know, it induces a paranoid people. And, um, it, I'm sorry. It induces a paranoid feeling in people, as if they're being watched. I'm sorry about that slip-up. But, you know, it makes a human, these vlogs. Anyway, back to the subject. I think that it also goes with people who always feel they're being watched. I think we're living in a very paranoid age in general. It's not just paparazzis, but it's the fear of stalkers. I mean, you know, you talk to a friend on the internet, and you talk to him more than, say, two times a day. You're a stalker. You're after them. You're out to get them, you know. Everybody's so fear-mongering, you know, and, you know, even in my generation, you know, in the 1980s, they were always telling you, you know, um, you know, be careful of strangers, they might hurt you and all that, but I don't think it was intended to engender this kind of outright paranoia about things. It makes my job as a photographer a lot harder, you know, people see a camera and they're like, it's evil, it's devilish, and they hiss or they act badly toward you. I mean, it makes everything very difficult. You, know, you got a camera, you know how to use it, but people are afraid of it. But I'm very glad and privileged to be photograph to be taking photographs for this wedding. And I am also very happy that this will perhaps assuage a number of people anyway and their fears and their photophobia. You know? I think if there's one thing the society could do without is the fear and the paranoia and the paranoid fantasies. Um, very famous saying, very good saying, 
by um, FDR. All we have to fear is fear itself. <laughs> so we should be fearing our fear a lot lately. Seems we got a lot of it. So if you get a camera, take your pictures. People who are being photographed, don't worry about it. Nobody's going to put you in a tabloid paper. Life is good. See you in April.